Hey there, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things, and I'm doing a box opening all by myself. And I've got a bunch of boxes, packages here. Uh, we get packages for the museum all the time. I order things. Most of the time I'm ordering things, you know, educational for kids to learn uh, about. And these are a few of the items that I'm pretty sure by the shape and where they came from that they're probably items that I ordered for the museum, but to also work with the museum. So here are the items. I'm going to open up the first one now. So normally I go to schools and teach kids that their iPhones didn't pop out of thin air. You know, kind of like the iPhone that's doing this. Okay, packed very well. <laughs> Pretty sure it is what I'm hoping it is. Yep, it is. Can you tell what that is? Do you know what that is? These are actually um, loops. Now you might think of them as jeweler's loops, but for me, uh, they're not for jewelry. They're actually for 16 millimeter films. And I will pull out a film and show you what I would normally do with this, which is I take the film and undo it like that, and then use the loop to find out what film it is. And hopefully it'll work well. And then I can see what the title of the film is through the loop. Um, so that's really super important for the museum. Let me get that film over where it belongs. That actually, that film was actually bloopers of uh, Dick Van Dyke show and uh, Mission Impossible and uh, Hogan's Heroes and believe it or not, Get Smart bloopers. Okay, so here's the next package. Let's try to get that open for you quickly. And it's a package in a package. Wonderful. Just what I've always needed. Like the Russian doll. Okay. Oh, excellent. This is a splicer for 16 millimeter film. I needed a new splicer and now I have one. Excellent. And I actually need more than this. I'm probably going to buy a few more. I got a lot of advice on the internet from my friends on Facebook. Uh, so this is one that came with the instructions, which I really like, uh, making cement splices on that. I usually use tape, not cement. And here's the splicer. Oh, let me take it out of the box. So, you would put your film in there. and then cut and splice bits together. So finally I have a really nice new one that's original in the box with the directions. So very, very cool one made by the company Craig, which were pretty big in this things. And then I have this big old box over here. I'm gonna open that one. And these are more loops. Very cool. Oh, and someone's at the door, so we gotta go. <laughs> Bye. So these are more loops for looking at the film. <laughs>